Yeah, we're, we're all pretty disappointed. It was the inaccuracy and stuff. And, um, yeah, you know, we're working hard this week to put, put what was really wrong right. I love it. It's a hard-working group here, and they've reacted really positively. They know they've let... You know, they know they can be better and it's really important that we show that on the weekend. It's one game. Um, I'm, I'm still super excited to see what we can achieve with this group. Like I said, um, I don't change my, my feelings on the group. Uh, I've really enjoyed working here, I've really enjoyed working with the people here. And we have to move forward and we have to move forward quickly. It's some rotation as well, you know, I'm new here and I need to see some people play who haven't played. There's some good players who played well who probably are very unfortunate to miss out. But, yeah, we've got one long long term injury. Leon Brown has had surgery yesterday. Surgery's gone really well but he'll be out for a period of time. It's on the injury that's kept him out and we've done everything medically correct to make sure we give him the fairest chance. He's a young prop and the last thing you want on a young prop is surgery so we give him the best opportunity and he's been a machine in training and everything else so um, he's just this the surgery's gone well and we hope to get him back as soon as possible. Rodri Jones is back running today. Um, he'll be touch and go he's ready for this weekend and it's Bangwis back. Um, you know, Rob Evans is close to returning this week as well, and it's Bangwis back. And there's a long season. Like, I'm not in the business to flog people, chuck them out, break them yeah. back, back, back. If we can get some consistency with people and and people playing some good game time, and we can build a squad that we trust, that's a big aim. We have to pull together as a squad, and that's what that's what's really made me proud this week. Of how how tight the players have become, and not just the boys who've been through a lot here and had ups and downs. The new guys, you know, they've managed to pick people back up and go well. Yeah, it's one game. We've got to be better. There's no hiding behind that. We have to be better. Coaches, players, staff, region, club, and we don't want to, we don't want another show like that. So we have to do everything we can this week to make sure that doesn't happen. Because as said previously by Gareth, um, Manchester are coming. And they don't lose twice, so it's why not. You can see they're trying to evolve. They've got a new coaching staff in. They've got Mike Prendergast from Racing, who's um, who's coached some talented players out in France, and I'm sure he wants to put his stamp on the team. But what Munster have and what we're striving to get is a, is an identity, and um, you know when they come, there's certain fundamentals they don't change, and we have to match that if we want to be in this game. I think I've said it. I've said it previously. I've said it in this interview. We've got to find what we are. What's our identity? And to do that, I think we've got to find out what, what the place is built on, what is Gwent built on. And I, I know, I've played all my mini junior rugby for Planet RFC and travelled the region. And, and there's certain fundamentals in this region to better than any other region in Wales. And we've really got to make sure that we hone in on that. And that will make people from the region proud to watch the region play. And then alongside that, you know, the support we have here, I've been here on the opposition and it's a tough, tough crowd to play, to play in front of. When we make a mistake, they're on top of you. When the home team get anything, they celebrate and we need that this weekend more than ever.